Welcome back folks. It's Anthony B's Reviews and today we're talking about a special topic. A topic I normally don't talk about which is uh, policy changes. Um, I don't know if you heard, I'm sure you have or seen videos that come across YouTube today or yesterday about the current YouTube 2018 policy change for monetization. Okay. Um, like in my channel, you see, we talk about on the car reviews, family vlogging, um, and reviews on anything. But today, like I said, I was driving home from work and I heard and saw on Facebook about the whole policy change, uh, especially from uh, the, one of the Facebook pages I'm uh, attached to, uh, YouTube vloggers, where YouTube vloggers is all caps. Let me see if you can see right. it, folks. There you go, right there. That Facebook page, uh, you know, I check it daily, and um, I noticed that people were talking about the policy change and how they hate it, sucks, why they do that. Uh, there was a policy change just recently in uh, 2017 in April, about the 10,000 views of a lifetime, and you can start partnering with Google and YouTube for monetization, but the new policy change talks about for 2018 you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time total which uh, it's, it should be no problem for a lot of youtubers out there that's been on the channel for at least six to seven months on up to years to already have those those hours of watch time i mean i'm an upcoming youtuber and you know, I only have eight subscribers and my watch time is only like in the hundreds, but that this policy change actually pushes me to work harder, come up with better content, quality content, and a frequency that keeps my subscribers interested and constantly watching my videos. Okay, so Now the negative comments I was hearing about were one of the guys was like, hey, I've been on YouTube for about nine months. My channel's been not too bad, but I'm not in the threshold of the new requirements for the policy change. And he's like, they're gonna get rid of the small fish and pretty much the big fish, I mean the big YouTubers, are gonna be the only ones being successful on YouTube. Well, come on folks, I'm sure you searched a video on YouTube from one of the popular uh, YouTubers, and their content didn't follow by the guidelines. For one, abusive or profanity. How many YouTubers out there have profanity in their videos? A lot. It's a part of how they, YouTube, they, they vlog or, or they record their videos, okay? That is a violation. But we're not here in this video to talk about the very specific violations of YouTube, you know, when you start applying for monetization, but I just wanted to talk about that there's no need to be negative at all. One guy posted a video about, hey, I want to get everyone together so I can tweet or tweet the crap out of the CEO of YouTube or uh, what was the other gentleman? I think it was the project manager or production manager for Google, tweet them to get them to change the policy. I'm like, come on. This policy was sat down with over a thousand, two thousand people coming together about how, how to deal with 2017's issues and that didn't help YouTube, that actually hurt YouTube. I know you guys know about a famous YouTuber that uh, not too long ago last year, I released a video that was very, it was very sad and it was very uh, immature, um, and it was about a topic that you normally don't, you don't joke around with. And unfortunately, he did joke around in it. And everyone started looking at YouTube and asking, "What do you guys do about this? This is, this is ridiculous. This is against you guys' rules. This is not a good image for the younger crowd, the younger viewers. It, it's just a bad look." What are you guys gonna do about it? So YouTube had no choice but to sit down and figure out how we're gonna change it, how we're gonna make this better, and how we're gonna prevent this from happening. And they did. And they came up with a policy change, okay? So how does it help me? Well, how does this policy change help me is it makes room 
for all of those people that are violating the rules to get paid for their videos to, to get deleted. February 20th is when YouTube finally implements the changes. So with that, if let's say for instance, a thousand people that do videos within my same content actually are violating those views and they delete those videos. So now when someone searches for that content, whose videos are gonna pop up? Mine, because I'm following by the rules. I'm hoping mine pops up because I'm following by the rules. But uh, another thing it helps me is 10,000 views over a lifetime were the previous uh, rules, but now it's 1,000 subscribers, which I think, granted, I'm like I said, I'm only eight subscribers, but I think 1,000 subscribers is not a bad number. I mean, there's people out there with 100,000, 60,000, a million, five million subscribers. There's many people out there that can help or at least build 1,000 subscribers. I think so. Again, it all depends on your content. It all depends on how often you put videos out there and how you keep your viewers engaged. Okay. Um, ooh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Train of thoughts. I, I get so so serious and so invested in the topic. Sometimes I just have a little brain fart. But uh, and like I said, how to and, and the four thousand the four thousand hours of view time. Now, yes, I am currently at. I think 128 because again I just started not too long because I just got back okay and I wasn't able to do any recordings but as you guys see I'm a frequent uh, vlogger I do reviews and it's gonna be more and more and more to come you know I like to switch it up throw little effects in there I, I, I watch YouTube's myself you know and I watch videos all the time and yeah, sometimes you watch this video and it's like, okay, the content is not as strong, but they got a good beat and they got um, a good a good music track or soundtrack. Okay, it keeps me engaged. So you know what? I, I want to continue watching this or keep hearing the soundtrack. I hate to say it, but they're in it for the soundtrack versus the actual visual content. But hey, it's a view for you. Okay, so I think that's how it's going to help me. I think that if I keep putting out videos and people keep liking it, uh, you guys keep commenting, uh, subscribing, and, and help build me to give you guys better content. Tell me what you want me to uh, put out there or talk about or video or even uh, a place for my family to visit. I'm going to do it. Of course, I want to uh, I want to please you guys. I want to, like I said, I want to entertain you guys. And that's the whole purpose I came up with the channel. Again, this is not my income. I'm not getting paid. I'm not sponsored by anyone. This is a hobby. It's something I like to do. Um, and it also helps me as a person, uh, professionally, to be able to talk to many viewers, talk to people, uh, especially when I'm out there vlogging, uh, being able to talk in public to a camera and, and just being open. You know, a lot of people, they hide and they can't necessarily uh, talk in a group or um, they do little things, they're like fidgety or just little things like that. But YouTube helps build a person in their own comfort zone because you can start IE in the room, in your house, in your car, you know, at the park, which is you. And then eventually when you notice, hey, people like the videos I'm putting out there, they're watching it, they're commenting, they're subscribing. I, I'm actually a good person and I actually can go out there and, and, and talk amongst people and not feel like I'm a weirdo, okay? Now, again, that Facebook page, um, YouTube Bloggers, all caps, it was created by Jan Ben. It's a great Facebook page. Uh, it helps upcoming YouTubers, current YouTubers. Uh, it's a good networking uh, Facebook page, group. Um, and any questions you have, Put it out there and he will answer quickly. I will definitely say uh, Jen is a 100% response, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes max before you get a response from him, okay? Now, one thing, make sure you read the guidelines for the page because he has, he has rules, just like Facebook has rules, and if you don't follow by the rules, whatever you may post may not get posted. Don't be mad at him because, again, he built and he's developing uh, a, a Facebook page that helps 
YouTubers all over the world. Okay? Now, I want you guys, again, to not look at the 2018 YouTube policy change for the partner program, also known as monetization, um, as a negative uh, impact or a negative vibe, okay? Look at it as, okay, they changed it up on me. What do I have to do in order to get to where they want me to be at to start making money from my channel and start getting the views? <clears throat> Don't be mad. Excuse me. Let me take a little drink. Throw getting a little parts. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, like I said, keep pushing. Stay motivated. Go out there and say, you know what, hey, I'm not just going to go out there, record myself cleaning up dog poop because my dog poops in the backyard and I'm going to put that on, on YouTube and expect people to want to watch the whole entire uh, the whole entire clip. Go out there, get some good footage. I mean, get some drone footage, get some GoPro footage, get a footage like I'm using the camera right now, my uh, Canon G7X. Get some footage, get a great editing program, and... Edit, edit, edit the crap out of that clip so you can make something that keeps those viewers and those subscribers that you have engaged so they can go ahead and say, you know, hey man, y'all need to go check out Anthony B's reviews, using me for example, because that guy's always putting on videos. They're very interesting. He has great soundtracks in the background. Um, his editing is on point. He's not a pro, but his editing is on point to where he wants me to watch the entire clip. And I promise you, 1,000 subscribers, and hopefully I will be a testament uh, soon, rather than late, of how quickly you can build that, and then the 4,000 hours of watch time, hopefully that that will come naturally. I mean, you think about it, you put a video out every other day, every three days, or try to break it up to where you put out two videos a week, you know, and it's a decent content, and you got your subscribers building, I, I, it's, 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 it's only it's math. All this is math, and trust me, with the subscribers, the amount of videos you're putting out, the hours of watch time will come, and it will build. So don't be mad at YouTube. Look at what you can do to build, brand off of YouTube, and let's keep, let's keep it going. Let's, let's build this big foundation of YouTube creators, help each other, and get rid of the bad apples. Because honestly, like I said, my kids... They watch YouTube. Granted, we regulate what they watch, but they watch YouTube. And you don't want your kids watching profanity, sexual acts, or sexual pictures, or, or pictures that show uh, death. You, you don't want that. You want them to see maybe kid, kid, kid uh, uh, channels, cartoons, stuff like that. You, you may want them to see. So let's all come together, support YouTube, Follow their rules so everyone can continue building their channel and let's make this a positive and a wonderful company to work for, hopefully to partner with and continue building. That's all I'm saying. So again, this is a rare clip. I normally don't do reviews on policy changes, but I felt that today I was driving, I was getting a little, a little agitated that how people were coming at YouTube, especially somebody who's been paying you and they're like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Why? You ain't going to change that CEO's or or that, that uh, you ain't going to change that company's uh, mindset on that policy. They sat down, they, they dedicated many hours to come up with that policy change. They figured out it's going to work, and that's what it is. So either you can obey by it, or you can withdraw your videos from their partnership and find something else as a vehicle or just leave them alone in general. Like I said, please below comment, subscribe, tell me, guys, tell me how you guys feel. Tell me what you think about the policy change. Tell me, do you agree that it's actually a positive thing or do you agree that it's a negative thing? Like I said, keep the comments clean, keep them real, but keep them clean because I will definitely look at them and try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and like I said, continue checking out the channel. I'm going to keep them videos flowing. I'm going to keep that content good, clean, and fun and entertaining. Just make sure you subscribe and you'll get a notification right away. All right? I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to y'all later.